The last Metroid is in captivity. The baby. The baby. Yep. Uh. My son, don't feel downhearted. You can pick up where you started with the knowledge not yep. to fail that way again. Uh -uh. Uh. Zero score is not an end, but instead where you begin to figure out where you went wrong back then. So just hit reset and try again to win. All right. Hey there, folks. We are here with a new Let's Play series, and I am not alone. Hello. My friend Chris is doing this game with me because I've never beaten it. Um, I know, I'm a big like, Zel uh, pff, big Metroid fan, and I've never beaten a Metroid game. But, well, this one. This is the one not to beat. Exactly. <laughs> it's not a huge deal to have not beaten this one. But I want to. Um, so I found it for like five bucks, and I'm going to run it with him. Because he knows it better. I think. Yeah, as much as I don't want to. <laughs> Good enough. Mm. I'll take it. Um... While it sounds like we're being kind of negative on this game, it's not bad. The main thing about it is the story. Um, it's made by Teen Ninja, who are kind of known for, like, overly ridiculous, like, convoluted plots in the Ninja Gaiden series. Why am I still alive? Um, and they take that into, like, rewriting Samus's origin story, which is kind of unnecessary. The baby. The baby. The baby. <laughs> There's also that. Um... But yeah, this is basically, like, retelling uh, Super Metroid right now. Like, after that moment when, you know, the baby um, revives her and she fights Mother Brain. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch my Super Metroid LP. <laughs> Shameless plug. But, yeah, it, it goes to great lengths to rewrite Samus' history. It doesn't even, like, try to fit it in. So it's kind of weird. It's not so much her history, more so her character and who she is as a person. True. She's, like, yeah. a totally different person than she was in any of her previous games. Yeah. And we'll see a lot more of that later with Ridley. And Adam. Oh, yeah. Adam is a thing. Yep. Well, he was in Fusion. Yeah. He's now a literal thing in this. Well, I mean, they had mentioned him before. Yeah, but he was just like a computer AI in Fusion. Right, but that computer AI was based on a person that she had worked with. So like now they're basically fleshing out who he is in reference to Fusion. His daddy, or her daddy issues personified. Yes. Because <laughs> for some reason she has daddy issues, even though she was raised by the Chozo. Oh yeah. But this game is super pretty, I'll admit. Although, why she just uses a regular power beam there, I'm not sure. No, it's supposed to be the rainbow beam, isn't it? Yeah, well, hyper beam. Yeah. yeah. Kind of weird. And this is the also Oof. the first, like, modern look at Zero Suit Samus? Or is that in Zero Mission? Mm, I was going to say Brawl. But I guess Zero Mission counts. Was, was Brawl first? I, th I thought they so. did the Zero Suit idea because it was in a game. Yeah, because of Zero Mission, but... Brawl was 08, and I think this was, like, 2010. Pretty sure. Uh, the... Which was given to me somehow yeah, me. something like that. She said hyperbeam, but she didn't use it. That's not what the hyperbeam looks like. Whatever. Zebus. Did they really say Zebus? Yeah. Ugh. It's better than Zebes. I like Zebes. Yes. You're ugh. The baby. The baby. Just do a montage of all the baby. Should have been a drinking game every time she says the baby. Yeah. Go turn off the video. Next time. <laughs> or do it at home, either way. Yeah. Make <laughs> this more bearable. So negative. But I like the way they kind of like show how this all works. Like the, the symbols activate her suit and it like forms around her. I think it shows more into how the Morph Ball is formed, too. Oh, yeah. Let's do this. Samus? 
Spider jump. jump. All right. Um, so yeah, this game's a little weird too because it's on the Wii. Um, in case you didn't know, and it uses like the Wii remote to the side. Uh, there we go. Okay, and has kind of an auto aim. So like, it's. It's a side scroller with with 3D elements. Like right now, obviously it's 3D. Um, you run, you jump, you know all that good stuff, and then morph ball. Um, and then sometimes it will just be a normal 2D side scroller. And if I get into it, sometimes it also goes first person. Is that shown here? I think next, maybe. I don't remember. Middle, there we go. I'm already there. Cool. Yeah, I think right now. Actually. No, you gotta walk. What? There you go. You gotta be I in the there. square. Ugh. No, you weren't. Fooled you. Surprise. Yeah, actually. Kick climb, really? Kick climb. It's called a wall jump. Don't be stupid. It's gotta be cool and team. Don't ninja-y. change direction. Everything I know is a lie. It's just. Come on. Let's speed this up. Oh no. I do like the modern redesigns of classic uh, Metroid enemies. Yeah. But it's also super easy to take damage in this. You didn't take that much. Well, like the 3D space doesn't work very well with with a four directional, so it's kind of hard to avoid enemies. Mm. The side scroller stuff is fine. That's no big deal. Oh yeah, dodge what? thing. Just before being hit. No. Uh. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's how they tried to fix that. It. I think so, too. But I'm terrible at it. Like, in actual motion. Oh. That's right. I was going to say it's it's hard to avoid things, and, like, they put this system in. I totally forgot about that. Feels good, man. Missile test. Which... Yeah, this is the weird thing. You, like, hold the Wii Remote up, hold it up, press and hold A. So it has waggle, essentially. And that's not good. It's not used too much, at least. The pointing at the screen is. So then yeah. it goes into, like a, like, a prime thing, but you can't move when you're in this position. Um, you can look around all over the place. But you can't move. Typically, first person is more for investigation of your environment. So I kind of um, get why they did that. Just, what are you doing? I, I can't get it to stay. There we go. Yeah. I hit A and it didn't work. It's because he hadn't prompted me yet. <laughs> You're too good. Apparently. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Give me your tubes. <laughs> tubes. I'll have to put up a graphic now. Nobody's gonna know what that is. <laughs> I'd hope so. How dare you make me do work? Come on. Yeah. Come on. I don't know. In general, the combat in this doesn't feel the smoothest, but, like, it works. I mean, it's obviously different because it's the Ninja Gaiden people. They're going to make it like they know. It definitely feels more acrobatic, which is kind of fun. Jump on his head. How do I, how do, I do that? Jump. Yeah. There we go. Okay. See? More acrobatic. Not always a good thing, though. See ya. <laughs> How about you try using a power button? And then all these things are going to get taken away from me? Probably. And yeah, because of the limited button controls, it's still pretty awkward to use things. Like, I like to just not have to toggle over between different items, like in Super Metroid. But it takes so long to make a power bomb happen. And then it has to, like, recharge... I have that problem too. Yeah. Looks like you took quite a bit of damage. It's unbelievable how well you've held up. Thanks. I wondered if this too was a result of the power the baby gave. The baby. <laughs> Drink. Yeah. Right. You're doing the meeting room. The big dogs are waiting. I gave your suit a polish so you'd be at least somewhat presentable. He's so wow. ethnically confusing. He he looks like a villain. Yeah. The way his eyes reflect like that. Not even a fragment. None of the baby remained on me. Drink. Maybe. 
I knew it to be true, but still couldn't help looking at my palm for a sign. Why? What's on your palm? Never again would I encounter the baby. The baby. Oh, there Never. it is. I, I kind of want to put a counter up, actually. I might put a little counter up in the corner of how many times she says the baby in each episode. Baby count, yeah. Ooh, baby count. <laughs> how many babies can she have? Mission completed. Not enough to fill the, the void. Was <laughs> and all were uh huh. The sure, they were. This game isn't called Metroid or anything. But it felt momentous to me. Actually, are there Metroids in this? I believe, yes. Yes. Okay. Later on, I think right before you get uh, an adequate weapon to deal with. Them. I don't know mm. how oh yeah, uh, spoilers and then. stuff. Uh, no, who gives a fuck? <laughs> right. This is like the most story-based game I've played so far, but the story really isn't good. So. Oh well. I guess we still probably shouldn't talk to the cutscenes though. Code name: Baby's Cry. It counts. A common SOS with the urgency of a baby. Gosh, crying. she wants a baby Ding. dad. The nickname comes from the Samus has baby fever. Of the signal is to draw attention. Her need the to over-explain everything space. is very annoying. I yeah. The course of my ship as she always works better as a silent protagonist. Been part of my flight plan. Baby's cry. It was as though it was crying specifically for me. I'm sure it was. Other baby. <laughs> baby, other baby. A baby's tail. So now we are officially into the game. This is one of the few ones that doesn't have like a cool like countdown at the beginning, which is kind of weird. That's always one of my favorite things, like with a big epic escape or something. But I guess there's so many controls and things to introduce you to, it wouldn't really make sense to have something like that. Which yeah. I find it, though. Have the base blow up, and then you end up here. Yeah. Count down to get out of it. I mean, yeah, they can still have that tutorial and then go into something, I guess. Or do they? I don't think so. Mm. I don't know. My memory is mainly focused on key plot points in the game. Mm. And where items are, hopefully? Huh. <laughs> Have fun. Oh. <laughs> That's why you're here! I did 100% the game, though. Why? So, it was that easy. Oh. Even the secret bosses and stuff? Yeah. Hmm. It, it's all a matter of just, I think, going back to the this base at the end. Hmm. Because I'd like to do that. Like, be thorough and, you know, actually show off the secrets and stuff. Because I've heard those are some of the coolest fights. It's nice seeing them in 3D. Yeah. Because they're both characters that have been in other games, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, that's kind of cool. One from Super and one from Fusion. Right. Yeah, 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 okay. I remember the Fusion one. Can't stand that shade of yellow on her. <laughs> like, it's disgusting rotten mustard. Yeah. And that's what they used for Brawl and uh, New Smash, right? Mm, no, Brawl. Ugh, excuse me. Brawl came before this, so it was more the the clunky super armor that everyone loves. And Smash was more sleek, but it still had the nice orange color. Like it was, I think it was the proper Varia suit. Right. What am I examining? Uh, the area. But for what? I don't know. Like this is all I can. This is the only place I can go. Wait, is that door glowing? Does that mean anything? I don't know. You're right. The Wii remote's being glitchy. Yeah, the sensor bar is weird. Yeah. Well, I think the Are laptop you... gets away in, in the way a little bit. You're holding B, right? Yeah, press and hold B. Okay. On the area you want to examine. Oh, okay, and that actually does something. Apparently. Oh, wait, do you have to hold it on the area? and then, Probably, like, yeah. Or can you move it around and then Just do... try the ship. Maybe that's what you want to be looking at, because I think... Okay. Come on! Found it! <laughs> pixel, pixel hunting. Not bad, guys. Uh, what's happening? Uh, check the door. No, there might be like a switch or a balcony or something. Yeah. Look at. There. That or no? I keep wanting to, you to look at that orange glow. <laughs> See, like this is basically their take on the scan visor, and it's not good. 
I already did that. Right, yeah. Unless she's gonna say something else. Nope. nope. Okay. All right. I think that's giving me more free reign over here. Then. Yeah. Like she heard a noise over in this direction. I could have sworn it was the door, but maybe there's like a, a, a switch or something that you're supposed to activate with scanning. Maybe. Luckily, oh, we don't that? do yeah, this very the red much. Thing. I nope. did it earlier, but it, that's I didn't nothing. Think it. What? Uh, Why are we playing this again? <laughs> we love Metroid. It's true. Merry Metroid, everyone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't actually explain that. I'll do that while I'm like randomly scrolling around. Um, so, wait, that was the thing, wasn't it? Something? No? It keeps bobbing. Yeah, that's like the sensor bar's jitteriness. Ugh, whatever. Um, yeah. So, my friend Hy Hybrid Havoc and I kind of decided to do a bunch of Metroid stuff this month and call it Merry Metroid. Um, cause that's, you know, it's a cute little, like, hashtag thing to do. Um, so this is kind of my inclusion to it. Um, me and him are also supposed to be running through, uh, Zero Mission, Metroid Zero Mission, for his channel. Um, I don't know when that's going to happen. It might be later into the month, cause we're both busy people. But yeah, that's something else to look forward to. And we're going to cap the month off with something special that I don't really want to get into yet. But it will involve a speedrun. Um, that I will probably lose. So. If it's speedrunning this game, you're screwed. <laughs> no. Okay. we've been here for like five minutes. It has to be something at that door on your right. It does, I guess. No. Okay, so it actually shows something when you get to it. Okay. Good to know. Um, and you have to wait a while for that to happen, did you? It just kind of... Yeah, it just immediately. Like, if okay. you know it's there, it's easy, but it's like you have to get right. right on it. Um, but yeah, if anyone else wants to partake in some Metroid action, feel free. Um, it's not going to be like a, you know, like Zelda month was, where it's exclusively Metroid content, because themed months can only go for so long. Um, but I thought it'd be fun, and you all seem to really like Super Metroid, so why not play the worst game in the series? <laughs> to follow it up. That makes sense, right? Should. Then maybe we'll go to something in between next. Like, I don't know, Fusion or something. Well, I personally love Fusion. But... It'd be a nice quick game to run through. Yeah. As a kid, I could beat that pretty quickly. What are we looking for? I don't know. Do I need... Do I even... Wait. Oh, my God. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, God. Let's just take a I'm second to appreciate that. You I'm, told me I was still looking for I'm something. surprised the game didn't tell you, hey, idiot, walk. <laughs> yeah, me too. Um, so, yeah, even in the side-scroller sections, you've got some movement side to side. Kind of 2.5D. Yeah. So whoa, it's whoa, a little whoa, weird. whoa, whoa. And then there's Jesus. these forced first-person sections Cut that scene. really don't do anything. Power Rangers. Do I not have missiles? Oh no, you're not authorized missiles. It's it's grayed out on your health. You Nailed it. Me? I, guess that's I just later. used one. Well, check that glowy thing on your map. What glowy thing? The glowy thing on your map that you're standing on. It's right here. Okay, look at it. Oh my god. Adam. 